Hey friendlies. I made a video about a month ago, maybe a little longer, a um, little longer, but I'd forgotten to turn the mic on, so there was no sound. Uh, I swapped out my mic for the uh, Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, I think it's called, the one that comes on automatically when I hit record. Um, I'm gonna do the video again. So over here we got, it's my first ever Cooksa in the uh, kindling pile, which is where it should be. I did it sort of in a, in a fit of divine inspiration and it really sucks. And I haven't really done one since. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos. I really want to make one. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of carving at all lately just because other things have been in the way. But now that I've gotten a little further ahead on all the household stuff, I figure I, I'd like to get back to it. So when Paul Adamson put out a Cooksa book, um, geez, was it like a month, two, a month or two ago? Um, I think. I saw it on the, the Book of Faces. I dropped him a line and I bought a copy. And it is right over here. I'm going to set the camera down and I'm going to show you what I got. Okay. In the name of not blowing out the background and ruining my uh, color balance. I'm going to take one of these out. Oof, they're hot. There we go. I really do need to get some lighting going on in here. Here we go. All right. So, here's the book. And here's my tea. Tea is a good drink. All right. Cooksa. Let me get that into. Hi, Paul Adamson. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let me get that into. Boom. How's that? Looking good, right? Sorry, the lighting in here stinks, guys. A hand carved. A guide to hand carved wooden cups. Cooksa by Paul Adamson. This is a really nice book. Like, it feels good. It's like the quality of the print for such a small run book is really good. Um, I don't remember what this kind of finish is called, but it, it's kind of a matte finish. If you guys hear that kind of dull roar in the background, it's, um, I'm watering, I'm watering my front lawn. Anyway. Oh, he even signed it. I didn't even notice that. Is that in, in focus? Boom, right there. It's tiny, but it's there. Um, so the reason why this was interesting to me was actually partly because of that Kuxa right there. See with the uh, bone insert on the handle? I'd seen that one on, I think, Facebook. And I was like... Or one similar. I think he made one for Zed. Zed, if you're watching this, did he, did he make you one with a, with a bone insert in the handle? I think he did. I'm going to try to get that, get rid of that glow right there by going whoop. Okay. So it's a really cool book. I've given it a bit of a, like I gave it a, a quick read through when I first got it. Like at the, at the beginning, like there's an introduction and stuff and it sort of goes through the, like the history of the Kuxa through, throughout European history. It gives, like there are some pictures of historical artifacts from Northern Europe and so on. Okay, and then there's a section on shapes and styles. That's very interesting because there's a shocking number of different looks and shapes to these things. You know, and it gives like some um, some historical pictures again. There's one from 1815, yeah. Like just a lot of really cool stuff. There's a big picture of one with a bone insert. This one is, I don't remember, it's one from like 2009. Section on decoration, okay. I, like I'm not gonna go through the entire th thing, but like, you know, paint, right? You got painting and stuff, coal roasting, tools, because let's face it, we all love tools, right? It took me everything I had not to go directly to this section. I, mean, I wanted to keep it as a surprise, not a surprise, but I like to keep the, uh, the best parts for last. This is a good section here, right here. Woods for carving. 
because I I carve birch. It's my wood de choix, as we would say here in Quebec. Um, but it's not the only kind. Of, you know, there's a lot of guys who do cherry and stuff. Now, here's the thing: the woods for carving is a very short section in this book. I think it's only one page. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's only one page. So, the one thing, the one kind of ding I would have against this book is there's got to be more than like this is a general sort of aperture. What I would like to have seen was like a little um, I'm trying to think of the word in English. A, a table, you know, um, you know, birch, cherry, apple, walnut, you know, like easy to carve, lasts a long time, harder to carve, um, I don't know, uh, takes milk paint well um, and then you know get to you know whatever oak too porous for cook scissors or something I, but like I would have liked to have seen something like that because I always like when I'm just looking for you know I just need to know a fact I love seeing something like that um, but aside from that you know knife grips because you you know let's face it if you have the, the Swedish carving um, book you know the, the Sunquist one which I have somewhere but not here you know that was all about um, like knife holds and stuff. Like you, you can't have a book without what are they? Holds? Grips. Uh, holds. What the hell? What are you talking about? And then of course how to make a kuksa. You know starts from the very beginning and goes to the very end. <laughs> makes, makes sense. There's a section on troubleshooting while well, he calls it problem solving um, and then there's a little section on bowls. Okay it's not that expensive a book for a uh, for like a, a small run I don't remember how much I paid for it at the moment so I'm gonna put the price right about there aside from that um look I I, I know who Paul Adamson is through a Facebook and B I've seen him like on Z outdoors videos and stuff uh, at least one and so when I saw that he had a book out He's a guy, I, I like his energy. He seems like a really nice guy. His work is great. I would love one day to buy one of his kooksas. British pounds, Canadian dollars, it's kind of eh. But I was like, I'm gonna support this guy. And if you guys are into kooksas, maybe you like drinking from them, maybe you wanna you know, try your hand carving them, maybe you already do carve them, but you just want a little bit more uh, Reading material, reference material. Um, this is this is great. I, I'm I'm loving this book, and I'm thinking that I may give it a try pretty soon. I'm not really into call rossing or any of that. I'm into like real purity of shape. But yeah, so I bought it. I'm loving it. I don't regret the the purchase. And if you're interested in it, if you've been looking at it but you weren't sure if you should uh, spring for it, then I back that concept. If you're only learning about it now. Um, check him out. Either the um, really long Kuksa carving tutorial he did for Zed, which I've watched twice, uh, or just check him out on Facebook. You can find him there. And he will likely be happy to sell you one. So, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, and thanks once again to those of you who are buying t-shirts. Um, every one of those that goes out really helps me. Um, it, I'm getting to the point where soon I'll be able to start buying things like another memory card or whatever. So yeah, thanks guys. That means a lot to me. Um, aside from that, if you like what I'm doing, then please get the conversation started down below. What I want to know this week is, do you carve? Um, I don't know, spoons? Cook says to you, I don't know, turn bowls or build chairs. I mean, I don't know. Do you do the woodworking? If you do, put it down below. Uh, as well as if, I don't know if YouTube will let you put URLs, but just tell me where to look you up or something just so I can see what it is you do. Um, aside from that, please share the video. That helps me massively. Um, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you are already subscribed, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.